Hey there guys, uh, welcome to uh, I, another part in the JTAG tutorial, I guess. I guess it's been like um, three or four months since the last one. Um, but yeah, this is, this is going to teach you to update to the Connect dashboard. And the first thing you want to do is download the file in the description uh, and unzip it. Uh, and you'll get a file called, uh, sorry, a folder called Connect Update. Open that. Uh, and you'll find two folders, Easy Freeboot and Flash 360. First of all, we're going to use Flash 360. So we're just going to right click and copy that. Uh, you will need a external USB stick. Now I've got mine here, uh, and what you want to do is you just want to paste in the uh, Flash 360 folder into that. And if you open that up and notice it, you'll get Media uh, and Flash 360.xex, which, uh, as you should know, an XEX can be launched from the um, XEX menu on the JTAG dashboard. So uh, yeah, I'll take you over to the uh, actual. JTAG now, uh, sorry, I was struggling for words there, uh, and yeah, I'll show you what to do next. Okay, uh, hey guys, um, on the JTAG now, uh, the first thing you want to do is head on over to, well, no, to be fair, the first thing you want to do is plug into your uh, your flash drive, which I believe I forgot to do at the start of this, so uh, once you've done that, go ahead and sign into an account, doesn't matter what, uh, remembering that you're not connected to live, of course, uh, then go over to game library, Head over to XEX menu and launch that. Okay, so once XEX menu loads up, you want to head over to your USB stick. Um, do that by pressing X and selecting. Uh, mem uh, see, I told you, I told you, I forgot to put it in. Um, and you select, I think it's USB zero. Yeah, there we go. Um, head over to Flash 360 and launch up the uh, XEX which is in there, which I can't remember what it's called, there you go, flash360.xex uh, blue screen should pop up, uh, first thing you want to do is click on X to back up the current NAND file uh, head on and click A and that will save the NAND uh, basically in that file uh, with the XEX on your USB stick uh, so let's just, wait, let's just wait for this to uh, clear, take a few seconds uh, and what you want to do after that is you want to take out your, uh, sorry, first you want to go keep pressing uh, back until you get to the dashboard. And then you want to take out your USB stick and plug it back in your PC. Uh, that's where the tutorial continues, so I'll see you in there in a sec. Okay then, so uh, once you've done that on the Xbox, you've now just backed up your, uh, uh, your current NAND to the USB stick. You want to open up your USB stick. Heading to the Flash 360 folder, and you'll notice that there is a new file called flashdump.bin. Uh, this is the NAND that's currently on your uh, JTAG, so you just want to make a quick copy of that, just in case everything, anything goes wrong, rather. Uh, there we go. Uh, you now want to go back into the Connect folder and launch up Easy Freeboot, which is efb.exe, and just click Run or Run as Admin if you haven't already got uh, UAC off. Uh, you come up with this, you want to click create image now you want to locate your flash dump file which is right there click open, uh, now you want to find your CPU key uh, if you haven't already got this written down uh, from earlier uh, you will need to watch my previous video uh, on flashing your Xbox and you can down uh, not download it, sorry you can read it off of there uh, it's to do with a few sets if you remember, so uh, I'm assuming you've got it written down already uh, if not there's a link on the screen now, you just want to paste that one right in there click OK, uh, it'll tell you hopefully what version you've got, for example an egg xenon uh, click yes and you'll get a, a command prompt open up uh, it'll do it, it'll cl say click continue, so just press any button that will shut down, a new one will uh, open up uh, and you'll see that you've now got uh, F build is finished, have a nice day press enter of course and then any key to finish. Uh, it'll now open with the uh, save as option uh, already named as UDP flash, don't change that. Uh, you'll notice it's on the C drive in the flash 360 folder which is where it needs to be. Uh, so then go ahead and just click save. And once that's done a little box will pop up saying it's all created. Uh, so let's go ahead and close all of that down just checking it's on the C drive going to uh, flash memory stick, flash 360, and you've got UDP flash right there. Uh, the next step is back on the Xbox, so uh, just take you over there. Alright then, so back on the JTAG, um, heading on over to game library, and then XEX menu, of course. 
Uh, I don't know why I froze for so long. Okay, got moving at last. Uh, loading up XEX menu. Head back on over to uh, Flash 360, which should be on your USB drive. Uh, launch flash360.xex. Now you now want to press button A, which is write UDP flash dot bin uh, to the NAND. So go ahead and click A. Add a new screen; it should pop up, um, which hasn't yet because I haven't clicked it. Finally, uh, on this screen you want to cl click uh, B, which is uh, raw flash. Uh, you get a bunch of errors. You want to press start. I'd press start two times, which is basically saying. Uh, to uh, continue and ignore the various errors which are there. Uh, they're irrelevant, they don't matter to what we do. Um, eventually you'll get a thing that says press A to begin or any other button to return to the menu. Uh, press A of course and it will write in a matter of seconds. A button to continue uh, and then you want to restart your Xbox but you do this by uh, pressing any button first of all and then press back button twice and it will shut down. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, you have now uh, updated to the connect dashboard in under 10 minutes. Uh, you'll get this irritating sort of setup screen at the beginning, so just just wish, just wish, wish through that, whiz through that, that's the word. Uh, there you go, you've got the connect dash, you can now uh, do system link lobbies and go on live again uh, and all that other jazz. So uh, thanks for watching, check out my other tutorials and uh, remember to subscribe if you haven't already.